Yep, what are we looking like for our work week? Well, we are going to be sticking with that dry weather at least for the next couple of days, but we will start to notice an uptick in that humidity and that's keeping our, sky, our skies clear right now because of how dry the air is at the surface and also above our heads. A temperature of 78 here looking at downtown Birmingham from our BJCC camera dew point in the upper 50s, so that's why it feels so comfortable out there across the rest of the region. Many of us still at least south and east of Interstate 20 in the 70s, but 68 already in Jasper and Coleman, 70 in Gadsden right now, and those dew point values across the south Southeast continuing to tell really the bulk of the story as a lot of that lower humidity still filtering in from the north behind this stationary boundary that was a cold front a couple days ago when it pushed through our neck of the woods back on Friday. And so we're going to eventually see a return of this higher humidity as we go into the beginning and end or middle of this week and satellite and radar showing that we are quiet right now also because of that dry air continuing to filter in. So it will be a pretty good night to try and get out there and enjoy the uh, Perseid meteor shower that is happening peaking tonight between 1130 tonight and then dawn tomorrow morning. You can look towards the northeast and see possibly up to 75 meteors per hour. And of course, with those temperatures settling here in the upper half of the 60s, it will feel quite comfortable. And as we wake up tomorrow morning, many of us even from Coleman over to Gadsden could be in those lower 60s, much like it was this morning and then closer to that 70 degree mark, at least here in Birmingham. But again, it will be a pretty comfortable start to our Monday. But as we go into the afternoon, that sunshine going to allow temperatures to still warm here into the lower half of the 90s by 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon and winds will still be pretty light so not going to provide at least much relief out there but thankfully still with that lower humidity temperatures won't feel much warmer than this a high in the lower 90s 92 for Alabaster Birmingham 88 for Coleman for your Monday so right there pretty close to where we should be for this time of the year but as we go uh, into the middle of this week, we're still looking at the mostly hot and dry weather continuing high temperatures in the mid 90s there by Tuesday and starting to go back in the lower 90s by Wednesday as we see a return to at least a couple of storms that will be back in our forecast by the middle of this week. Much of that is due to that lower humidity starting to finally retreat off towards the northeast and that more muggy air indicative of these very darker green colors starting to come back going into Wednesday and then eventually Thursday and Friday. But also with that return in higher humidity, we have some warmer temperatures because of this ridge of high pressure. However, as we go into the middle of this week, it will start to break down and that periphery of the ridge that I like to mention is typically where we can find the focus of more showers and thunderstorms, and that's really going to be our story going from Wednesday going into Saturday. So the second half of this week when I have that umbrella handy as we see a return to at least a few more chances of some rain up to around a 40% here by Friday, 30% really from Wednesday through Saturday. So again, not looking at any washouts, but really just hit and miss uh, typical August storms that we're used to here in central Alabama. Also watching potential tropical cyclone five. The good news is that it is located in the central Atlantic right now, and it is forecast to stay over open water and possibly getting as strong as a category two hurricane as it will pose a threat to Bermuda, but thankfully not going to pose a threat to the mainland here in the United States. So we're all worried about at least the lower humidity starting to uh, get out of here and unfortunately not going to be feeling as comfortable over the next couple of days. High temperatures back in those lower 90s all the way through the rest of the next week. Addie. Jacob, thank you.